Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, we want to get our home page set up for JavaScript class. So we're going to be mixing in a lot of JavaScript with our web pages. So that's going to be some HTML and a little bit of CSS here and there. And skill levels are different for everybody in this class. Some people have already gone through some HTML and CSS with 195. Others are brand new. Practically, in fact, we'll go ahead and say all of the graded components for our activities this term are going to be related to JavaScript, but we still want a little bit of HTML and CSS to be just a bit dangerous, but also to make things look a little bit nicer, a little bit more professional. So I've got uh, VS Code open. That's going to be our editor of choice here. And um, yeah, I'll just do a new file. And before I get started on this, I'm going to do File, Save As, and Confirm My Location. Now, everybody needs a working folder to save into. I don't care if this is on your desktop, if you have a courses subfolder or something like that. But go ahead and create yourself a folder that we can use. I'm going to call mine CIS133JS for our JavaScript class. Now within that, you'll notice I already have a folder called scripts. If you don't have that folder, and why would you, go ahead and click on new folder and create a folder called scripts. Notice it's all lowercase and no spaces. I'm also going to click new folder, and I'm going to create a folder called images, all lowercase and no spaces. And I'm going to click new folder again, and I'm going to create a folder called styles all lowercase and no spaces. I think that's pretty good for now. Don't really need them in this video, but let's go ahead and prep our space. So within my working CIS133JS folder, I now have an images folder, I've got a scripts folder, and I've got a styles folder. And as you can imagine, those folders will contain dedicated files for those specific purposes. However, I'm in my save as dialog box. The file that I'm working on right now is going to be a home page. It's going to be the page, kind of like a portfolio, that's going to direct visitors to all of the various activities and assignments and example pages that we make throughout the term. So the file that I'm creating right now, and that's down here in my file name, I'm going to call that index.html. I'm going to replace an older file that I had. You probably won't get that warning. And there we go. So I now have index.html. In VS Code, here's what I'm going to do to make sure that I can see my files over on the left. And if you can't see these, there's an explore pane that you can uh, show and hide right over there. What I'm going to do is click File and then Open Folder. Now when I do an open folder, I'm going to open specifically my 133JS working folder. So I'm going to head over to my 95Dev website, and then my folder is right in there, 133JS. I'm just going to click on that once uh, to select it, and I'll choose Select Folder. And there we go. You'll notice that on my Explorer pane on the left, I can see my 133JS folder. I can see my subfolders, images, scripts, and styles. And I've already got a few files in there, but the one that I started was index.html. It's not open at the moment, so I'm going to click it to go ahead and get that started. Now, we don't need to know a lot of HTML in this class. Um, but there are some things I'm specifically going to want you to be able to do. Fortunately, you can just copy what I'm doing and take care of it. So in VS Code, I can just type an exclamation mark and press enter, and I'm going to get a lot of default content that I'm pretty happy with. So there's, um, yeah, this all seems pretty darn reasonable. No need to worry about it too much. So what I'm going to do, though, in the title is I'm going to go ahead and make this my uh, CIS133. JS intro to JavaScript, and then I'll just do a pipe symbol homepage. So this is going to be my homepage for that particular class. Now something we are going to be doing regularly is um, referencing some style sheets. Again, you can copy what I'm doing, but I think I'll pick that up in another video. But ultimately, we're going to be having some external style sheets. So I'll go ahead and start that right now. I'll put a little comment in here. External styles. And my external styles are going to be accessed with a link tag. Relation equals style sheet. And then let's do an href equals. And this is going to go to my styles folder slash. And then I'm going to have some file.css. 
There we go. So I'm probably going to end up with a couple of these CSS links here, but I'll explain that in the next video. So we're going to have some external style sheets. Pretty regularly, we might have some external scripts. Now, when I do an external script, if I want to refer to an external JavaScript file, I'm going to use a script tag for that. And then I'll do a source attribute, and that's going to be into my scripts folder. And then some file.js. That's pretty good for now. And there is a closing script tag for that, but notice there's no closing script tag for my link tag. Now, even though I'm going to be using external styles and sometimes external JavaScripts, in a lot of our demo files that we make in class, we're going to be using some internal styles and internal scripts. It's not as efficient to do that. However, I like putting the uh, the, the small JavaScripts that we're going to be doing right with the web page. So we have kind of like a one stop shop, and you can go back and reference these files quite easily looking at the HTML that you did and the JavaScript that you wrote to interact with that HTML. So that's pretty good there. So we're going to have some future external styles, we're going to have some future external scripts. I'm still working on my index.html home page for our JavaScript class. In the body of the page, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a uh, heading one, and I think I'll just repeat my title text right there. So I'll just copy and paste that. And then at some point, I think down here, I'm going to create an article. There's a set of article tags with an H2. And I'll just go ahead and say, um, about this page, perfect. And then we'll probably follow it up with a little short paragraph or something, just kind of describing to the visitors what this is. And at some point, very, very soon after that, we're gonna have to have a navigation menu, which is gonna be built up throughout the term and linked to a bunch of different web pages. So I think that's a pretty good start for us. And we've got the start of a blank page right there. There's how our page is going to look. We're referencing some external styles and some external scripts. By the way, how does this page look, even though I haven't done much to it? It's not going to look very exciting, but there it is. There's our blank white web page with our heading one text and our heading two text. We're going to keep building up on this, though, so take care.